We're live from Dade County, and that can mean only one thing, folks. We're minutes away from four quarters of explosive football. It's a picture-perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the Hurricanes and the Seminoles. Hi to all of you out there. I'm Brad Nessler, and helping me with the call today, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. What a great one we've got brewing for you today. It's time for the annual battle between the Canes and the Knowles. Well, the captains are heading to midfield, so let's head down for the coin toss, brought to you by Coke. Florida State, Florida State lines up to kick this game. one off, and we're just about set to get underway. And this one's away. Number eight takes it at the 12. Tackle at the 36. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. I take it to the ground on this one. You got to be able to run to win ball games. 36 yard line. The Hurricanes line up in an eye formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they make the stop at the 43 yard line. A seven yard run by the running back. I love a good draw play. You got the defense thinking pass, then you run the ball for a nice game. Ball on the 43 yard line. Eye formation here. Again with the run. Tackle at the 48. That run gives him the first down. You know, in the media conference a couple of days ago, the coach talked about how important it was for them to establish the running game. Let's see if this helps them open up the passing game any. There's a play fake. He chucks it downfield. Number 15 with the pick. What an interception by the cornerback. I love it. A defensive back with soft hands. This kid can play. Snap on that chin strap and go out there and hit somebody. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Florida State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Throwing left. Caught. He's out of bounds at the 36. Looks like the linebackers bid on that play fake. I didn't even know the quarterback had the ball. That's worth a yoke. It's second and two. Florida State comes to the line with three wide. They keep it on the ground on the tailback. They'll give him an inch or two, if that. So that'll make it third down. They line up to the 36. It's third down. Florida State sets up in the eye. Again, he'll get the call. And they make the stop at the 45. I hope you didn't blink because the fastest running back we've seen all year just kept the drive alive with a big first down. Fastest running back we've seen all year is a bold statement. But you know what, Brad? It's probably true. The Seminoles come out showing three wide on the ground with a tailback. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. Not much there, maybe a yard. That'll make it second down. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 46. The Seminoles set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. He's looking across the middle. A lot of shoving while the pass was in the air. Let's get the call. Well, he got busted for getting to the receiver too soon. He will get a flag thrown on him every time for a play like that. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Seminoles come out showing three wide. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. It's second and eight. Ball on the 37-yard line. Number 28 lines up as a single back. He drops back. Surveys the field. He passes it. And it's caught. And they bring him down at 
the four. They went vertical on him that time. Hey, Scooter, you see the arm on that guy? You bet I did. Way to throw that pelota, kid. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. They're crowding the line. Again with the run. Tackled for a loss. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Second down, goal to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Seminoles line up with three wide. Missed tackle, and he's tackled at the five. Number 28 gains about a yard on the play. This is where you just go with what you know the best. Third and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Looks, throws it. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. He's asking to get picked off. That was a close one, all right. If no one's open, there's nothing wrong with tucking it in and trying to pick up the first on the ground. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Florida State lines, lines up for the kickoff. Off. Number 22, back to return. Kicks off. Number 22 takes it from the six. Tackle made at the 28 yard line. The offense comes out to start this drive. They're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. Let's see how well you can run this play. First and ten. Ball on their own 28. 28 yard line. Back to pass. Looking. Feeling the pressure. Number 85 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second down. From their own 28 yard line. Second down. Number 30, the lone back on the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Couldn't get anything out of that. So that'll make it third down. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 28. The Seminoles bring in the nickel package. He drops back. He looks. Fires deep down the right side. Caught, and they finally push him out at the 35-yard line. That'll get some good yardage for the receiver. This kid is one heck of a wideout. He's the guy you gotta get the ball to as much as you can because he could do things that make you say, whoa. Number three has five receivers lined up here. Drops back to pass. Looking. Throws down the middle. And it's knocked down. Number 85 was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Just go out and let your receivers make a play. Second and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. High formation here. Ready! Ready. He drops back. Looks. He launches one for the end zone. And they're going to get somebody for interference on that play. Let's see who the call is on. Ruffin sure caught a break there. Yep, that was a questionable call, Coach. It looked to me that that was just good defense in the end zone. First and ten. First and ten. Number three with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Surveys the field. Goes to the end zone. He's all the way home. Touchdown. 
The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well. It's up. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. is lining up to kick this one off. Number 29 and number four back to return. He kicks off. Number 29 takes it at the eight. Drives to juke. He's tackled at the 25. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense. And they'll huddle up for this drive. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. He looks. He's under pressure. He gets sacked on the play. So the sack makes this a second and long. Florida State changing their play. Back to pass. Surveys the field. Throws it. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Not a great throw by the quarterback. I don't know who he was throwing that one to. <laughs> I know. I think the intended receiver was the safety. <laughs> Number 11 is back in the gun. Here we go. Huh? He drops back. He's looking. The cavalry's coming. Looking long to the right. And it's the senior. Boy, did he fire that baby down the field. There aren't too many quarterbacks in the country who can make that throw. And the ones that can are playing on Sunday. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Little handoff. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Instead of running right at him, you can run around them on this pitch play. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Seminoles go with the I formation. Drops back to pass. He looks. Throws it deep. And this one's broken up. And they threw the ball into coverage. Man, I tell you, he's lucky that defense didn't come away with that one. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Seminoles come out in a shotgun. Again with the run. Tackle at the 38. Well, they try to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. From 55 yards away. Number 12, into a attempt to field goal. It's up. Well, that's a tough break for these guys who are looking to put three points up on the board. This is one of my favorite plays in the playbook. First, First down, 10 to go. On the 45-yard line. Number 30, alone in the backfield. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short, and it's knocked away. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Number three lines up with five wide out. He drops back. Tosses short, and it's caught, and he's tackled right away. Good looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Third, Third down and six. and six yards to go. Ball on the 49. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. He's looking. Aaron and out long. And it's the senior to the 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. 
They made that touchdown look really, really easy, Coach. And that's what you get when you practice hard all week long. Practice makes perfect, my friend. And that was as close to perfect as you will get. They'll line up for the extra point. He gets it up, and he hits the PAT. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Miami is ready to kick it away. Number 29, back deep to return. Kicks it away. Number 29 takes it from the six. Brought down at the 24. A missed field goal was the result of the last drive. We'll have to see if they can come through with something this possession. It's first and 10, ball on the 24. Florida State comes out with an eye formation. Play action. Deep pass down the right side. And got him! At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And he will touchdown. score! The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. He gets it up. He makes the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Number 43, ready to kick. kick. Number 22, back to And the it's off. Number 22 takes it at the 8. And he's taken down at the 28 yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. First down, 10 to go. The Hurricanes line up with five receivers. Back to pass. He looks, throws it deep. Couldn't haul it in. Number 85 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it second down. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28. They'll work from the shotgun. He drops back. Surveys the field. He throws right. And he makes the catch! Hey, if they were ever looking for a playmaker, then they found one in this wideout. Yeah, he really broke it open on that kick. Don't be surprised if the quarterback looks for him again very soon. Number three with three wide receivers. Here's a little draw play. Broke away from one. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. A pickup of four on the play. I'd get the defense thinking pass, and then I'd give it to my halfback. Second and six. Ball on the 34-yard line. Miami comes out in the shotgun. Draw play. Tackle made at the 
24-yard line. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. Let's go! Hey! He gets another carry. And they make the stop at the 22. And they pick up two yards. That'll make it second down. Second it's second and seven. And seven. Ball, Ball on the 22. 22 the defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Ah! They go with a run. Breaks one. Brought down at the 14-yard line. Running back picked up about eight on the draw. Third down and short. Ball on the 14-yard line. They line up in the red zone for the first time today. And they'll try to get the first through the air. He passes it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. Fourth down. They'll line up the field goal unit. And this one's from 31 yards out. Number 13 is lined up for the field goal. It's up. And it's right down the middle. That score leads us to our Pontiac Drive Summary. Number 15 is lined up, is lined up to kick this one off. Back deep to the Decent back. kick. Number 29 takes it at the four. He's taken down at the 24 yard line. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. First and 10. Number 28 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. <laughs> Setting up the play action. He throws. That close to being intercepted. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Second it's second and 10. And ten. Ball, ball on their own 24. The Seminoles set up in the gun. Looks, he wants the long ball. He's got it. Inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. touchdown. And he just hauled in his second touchdown catch of the day. The defense needs to put somebody on this guy before he does some serious damage. Getting pressure on the quarterback is also key. You can't let this guy play pitch and catch with his receivers all day. The extra point to tie this game up. The kick is up, and he hits the PAT. Okay. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Florida State, State is, is ready to kick off. it away. Number 22, back to return. Here's the kick. Number eight takes it at the eight. They'll bring him down at the 29. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. In this situation, you got to trust the quarterback's decision making. Ball on the 29 yard line.
The Hurricanes go with the eye formation. Nice play fake, under pressure. Deep pass down the right side. Nobody was gonna catch up to that one. This guy needs to just calm down. He fired that one about as far as he could throw it. It's second down and 10 to go. Miami comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. Looks, looking long to the right. The senior makes the catch. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. They line up at the 30. It's first down. Number 30 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. They hand it off. He gets past the tackler. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Five yards. So that'll make it second down. Second down and five. Ball on the 25-yard line. Number three is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Looking, he lets it go. Knockdown, incomplete. Number 87 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it third down, and we're all tied up at the end of the first quarter. This is what I would do, so how about it? It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Hurricanes come out showing three wide. Back to pass. Looks down the middle. He catches another one. Did you see what I saw there, Cook? I don't know. It looked like to me that he just got beaten man-to-man -man cover. He sure did. These guys are going to have to do a better job of locking down their man and preventing passes like that. Number 30 is the single setback. Setting up the play action. He's under pressure. Got his man. For the third time in this first half, they've managed to find the end zone through the air. When this quarterback gets in rhythm, watch out. This could be ugly. The kick is up, and he hits the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Number 15, ready to kick. Decent kick. Number 29, takes it from the six. Brought down at the 24-yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. They line up at the 24. First down. Number 28, alone in the backfield. Back to pass. He's looking. Looking long to the right. It's complete. He goes down at the 27. He's now over 200 yards receiving. This wideout is making toast of the secondary. They're getting burned on every play. It's short catches, long bombs. The passing game is doing anything and everything to confuse this defense. The Seminoles line up with three wide. Setting up the play action. He looks. Going for it all to the end zone. Number 81 was the intended target. That'll make it second down. I'd run it down their throats here. Nothing too special. Second and 10. Ball on the 27. On the 27-yard line. The Seminoles come out showing three wide. He drops back. He's looking across the middle. Caught. He's hit and taken down. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First down. They're 10 yards away. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. Here's the give. And they got him for a loss. 
No gain. And that was an no excellent game. tackle. He used perfect form to bring the ball carrier down. Second, Second down on the 11 going in. Number 11 with three wide receivers. Little handoff. They'll knock him down for a loss. Well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Well, a great effort up front by that defense. Third down from the 11-yard line. Number 11 lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Looks to the end zone. He came down with that touchdown. Boy, oh boy. This defense just doesn't have an answer for him. That's his third touchdown pass of the half. Well, Coach, it starts with the defensive line. This quarterback is going to continue to tear him up until they get some pressure on him. The kick is up. And he tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Florida State is ready to kick it away. Number 22 and number 8 deep to return. He kicks it off. Number 22 takes it at the 8. And he's taken down at the 25. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick. Hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. First down, 10 yards to go. The Hurricanes come out of the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. He looks. Deep pass down the left side. Tipped away. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all Second over it. But the defender stepped up and made the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. On the ground with the tailback. He's tackled at the 27. A two-yard run by the halfback. Yo, how about this one? It's third and eight. Ball on the 27. The Hurricanes come out showing three wide. Under pressure. Breaks one. Fires deep down the right side. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number nine was the intended receiver on that pass. So the defense stands their ground, and they're going to have to punt this ball away. Fourth and eight. Fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 15 is waiting for the snap. He really got a hold of that one. Number four fields at the 29. Brought down at the 39-yard line. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. This is what power football is all about. You gotta be able to run between the tackles. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. Inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Touchdown Florida, State. Florida State. Guys, did you see how fast he is? This kid's one of the fastest players in all of college football. He runs a 4-3-40. He is a burner, and he uses his speed well. Just watch that last touchdown run, and you'll see what we're talking about. They're setting up for the PAT. It's up. 
He splits the uprights yeah. with the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Number 43 gets set to ball. kick this one away. Number 22 back kicks it away. Ball. Number eight passes it at the five. <laughs> and he's tackled at the 25. So the offense takes over. And the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. First, First down, 10 to go. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looking. Number three. Plenty of time. Going deep. Lays it out there. Well, the defender was all over him on that play. Here's the call by the referee. Well, they flagged the defender for interference. What do you guys think? Yo, I think he got a bum rap on that one. I don't know, coach. I thought he got in there a little bit too soon. First it's ten. first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Number three with three wide receivers. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. It's just a matter of pitch and catch. So go get it done. Second and eight. Ball on the 42-yard line. Number three comes to the line. Three wide. Back to pass. He throws it. And this one could be on the defense. The defender got a little too aggressive on that play. Yeah, you're allowed to check a receiver downfield, but once the ball's in the air, you have to let go. And he hung on too long that time. First, First ten. down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Number 30 lines up in the deep back, high formation. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. Number 30 picks up about seven yards on the run. So that'll make it second down. A second down and three to go. Ball on the 36. Number 30, the lone back. Setting up the play action. Here comes the pressure. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Drops back to pass. Looking. He throws it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. He wasn't letting the receiver get to that one. That's a big play on third down to get a hand in there and break up the pass. I think the quarterback would like to have that one back. Fourth and nine. It's fourth down. And the they're ready to pump this one away. Line. Number four is back deep to return. Oh, excellent. Huh. Deep to return. They get the ball back after a touchdown on their last possession. And the reason why they scored last time was because of the way they ran the football. Oh, yeah, you're right, Lee. They drove almost a length of the field. Let's see if they can put some more points up on the board. The Seminoles come out in the ace formation. He drops back. He looks. He throws this one out to the left. It's complete. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. How about that play? I like this call. Anytime you can present the threat of possibly breaking one wide open, you loosen up the defense a little. It'll be interesting to see how the defense adjusts here. Florida State lines up with a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Under heavy pressure. And he's going to come up with a sack. We've got a second and long. Ball on the 35. Number 11 changes the play at the line. He drops back, surveys the field. He wants it all going long. And they finally knock him out at the 25. That was not an easy catch, but he made it look effortless, Coach. 
That's because it was effortless. Most kids would make that a tough catch, but this kid can make it in his sleep. Great play. Number 11 with three wide receivers. Tackle at the 23 yard line. That'll be a two yard gain. Gain of two. On the I'd run it down their throats here. Nothing too special. Second, Second and seven. seven. Ball on the 23 Ball yard on line. The 23 yard line. Number 11 comes to the line ah. with three wide. They go with the run. He's hit and got away. That'll be a seven yard pickup. So that'll make it third down. This is a perfect time for a pass. You got a few yards to go, and the defense is thinking run all the way. Third Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. They'll throw for the first. Looks. He passes it. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. They'll line it up for the field goal. This will be a 33-yard field goal attempt. Number 12 can make it a two-score game. The kick is up. And it's right down the middle. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Florida State is lining up to kick this one off. Number 22 and number 8 set to return. Decent kick. Number 22 takes it at the 8. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Number 41 sweeps up the loose ball. And a big change in momentum right here, Kirk. And you know what? When the other offense takes the they go for the home run on the very first play. I like your thinking, Kirk. They always say a defense is most vulnerable after a turnover. That's right, Coach. If I were calling the shots, that's what I would do. Number 11 lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Looks. Let's it fly. He catches it with one hand. What a throw and catch, guys. I'll tell you what, this young kid has a real gun for an arm. He sizes up the play well, and then gets the ball out of there. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. Pick up a five. You just got to make sure that you're gaining positive yardage on the run, because you're almost there. Second it's second and goal. And goal. Ball on the five-yard line. Number 28 lines up as a single back. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no option. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. Miami brings in their nickel package. Here's a draw. And down he goes at the one-yard line. That'll be a gain of five. Fourth down, and this should be an easy three. Number 12 is lined up for the field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Number 43 is return. lined up to kick this one off. Here's the kick. Number 22 takes it from the six. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First and 10, ball on their own 26. Number three with three wide receivers. Set, 
Drops back to pass. He's looking. He passes it. And it's caught. And they tackle him at the 44-yard line. What does that last pass do to this defense, guys? Let me tell you what I think it does. It's got to stretch out that secondary a bit, getting them playing a little less aggressive defensively. And you know what? If I'm on offense, I'd throw it at him again. Right here. Miami comes out with an eye formation. Nice play fake. He throws it. Swatted away. Number 85 was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. The draw play is a simple trick play. You're telling the defense that you're going to be passing the ball. And then, pow, you hand it off in. On the ground with a tailback. See sweetheart. Nowhere to go on the delay. That's a bunch of yards to go for a first down there. I just throw the ball down the field. Maybe you'll get lucky. Looking, he chucks it downfield. And it's the senior. He grabbed that one for his second touchdown of the half. And that second touchdown pass was just as good as the first one. This guy's good. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. The kick is up, and he tacks on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Miami, ready to kick this one off. Number 29, and number four, back ready to return. He sends it off. Number 29, takes it at the four. Tackle at the 24-yard line. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. As a player, you gotta get out of bounds or get the first down in order to stop the clock. You know in college football, the clock is stopped when the chains are moved on first down conversions. Florida State comes out in the shotgun. Nice play fake. Looks. Home run ball in the air. And this one's broken up. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, Coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. It's second down and 10 to go. The Seminoles come out showing three wide. Drops back to pass. He looks. Short toss. It's complete. He gets hit out of bounds at the 31-yard line. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Florida State comes out with an eye formation. Play action. Surveys the field. He throws. Incomplete pass. Number five was the intended receiver on the play. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Fourth and four. It's fourth down. They line up to punt this one away. Number eight awaiting the return. And this one is a beauty. Number eight fields it at the 26. He just got shut down on the puck return. Yeah, in situations like that, Brad, it's probably best if you just call for a fair catch. I'd make sure that the players know to conserve time here on this pass play. Ball on the They'll throw on first down. Surveys the field. He passes it. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? Passing the pass. On the defense. He got to the receiver a bit too soon there. Sure. You won't get much of an argument from me. That was a good call. First We've got ten. a first and ten. Ball they come the out with three wide receivers. Yard. 
Drops back to pass. Looking. He passes it. And got him! Down the sideline! To the 20, to the 10, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. I'll tell you, the way that play was designed, Scooter, I think you and I might have been able to turn on the Jets there. That was a great play. Easy, big guy. They'd have to treat both of us afterwards. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. It's up. And he hits the PAT. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Miami is ready to kick it away. He sends it off. Number 29, fields at the nine. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense is not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. Looks. Looking long to the right. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. He was I would try and establish a, a good play. running this game with this play. kicking himself for dropping that one. Yeah, that one should be going the other way. He was thinking about where to go with the ball before he caught it. The Hurricanes call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. We've got third and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Miami brings in the nickel here. He gets another carry. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Miami will take their final timeout. It's fourth down. They line up to punt this one away. He gets it off. Number eight, back to return. Number eight, built at the 31. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Number three, lines up with five wide out. Back to pass. Looks. He lets it fly. Now, who's the penalty going to be called on here? Pass on the parents on the defense. Well, he got busted for getting to the receiver too soon. He will get a flag thrown on him every time for a play like that. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Miami lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Looking. Let's it fly. It's complete. They'll bring him down at the 44. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. Well, we've played a half of football, and our score is Miami, 38, Florida State, 37. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Number 29. And this one's away. Number 29 takes it at the four. Tackle made at the 23. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. First down, 10 yards to go. On the 23 yard line. Number 11 lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Surveys the field. He's going right. It's broken up. Number five was the intended target. That'll make it second down. 
As a coach, you got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. Florida State comes out of the shotgun. Looking, he wants it all. Number four with the interception. Takes off the tackle. Tackle at the 40 yard line. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. Look. First and 10. Ball on the 40 yard line. Number three has five receivers lined up here. Let's see, did one of the linemen move first? Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. First down and five to go. Ball on the 35. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Throws it out there. It's complete. He's still going. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. And for that young man, it's touchdown catch number two. Hey, this guy's really stepped up for his football team today. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. He gets it up. He makes the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. 29, back to return. Kicks it away. Number 29, fields it at the 13. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Defense won the last battle as they were able to pick the ball off. Who's going to win this time? We've got a first and 10. on the 31-yard line. Florida State sets up in the eye. Drops back to pass. Looks. He lets it fly. Catches it. And they bring him down at the 17. And this has turned out to be one spectacular performance. I think this wideout is one of the best in the country, and I'm going to tell you why. He's fast, got great hands, and run great routes. You're right, Coach. He's had so many big catches this game. It's hard to argue that he's not one of the best in the country. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. Here's the give, and he's tackled at the 14. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Second and seven. Ball on the 14-yard line. Florida State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Again with the run, he's taken down at the 14-yard line. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up third down. Third it's third and down and seven yards to go. It's absolutely deafening down there. Gets the ball. Don't they fake it? Goes to the end zone. It's knocked away incomplete. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. They'll line it up for the field goal. This one is from 31 yards out. Number 12, into attempt to field goal. He gets it up, and it's right down the middle. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary.
Florida, Florida State, State is, is ready to kick it off. away. Number 22 and Back number eight set to return. He kicks off. Number 22 fields it at the 13. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Well, the offense had him back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. First, First and 10. ten. Ball on the 27. 27-yard line. The Hurricanes line up with four wideouts. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Tackle at the 29-yard line. Number 30 gains about two yards in the run. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Miami lines up with three receivers. Again with the run. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. It's first and 10, ball on their own 38. Number 30 lines up in the deep back, high formation. Setting up the play action, he heaves it deep. And it's knocked away. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Four wide. Inside handoff. And down he goes. And for 47. That's a good nine-yard gain. That'll make it third down. From their own 47-yard line. Third down. Number 30, alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Looks. Throws it. Incomplete pass. Number 88 was the intended target. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. So it's fourth down. Miami, ready to punt this one away. Number four, the return man. He punts it. Back deep to return. Number four, fields it at the 17. He's tackled at the 31. Came away with a nice return there, Lee Corso. Whoa, Nelly. That was almost a big one, my friend. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 31. Number 11, with three wide receivers. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. So at the most, he gains a few inches. That'll bring up second down. Second and nine. Ball on their own 32. On the 32 yard line. Number 28 is the single setback. Back to pass. Looking. Looking deep to the right. It's broken up. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book. But that's getting the job done. Third now it's third and nine, nine coming up. On the 32 yard line. Florida State sets up in the eye. He drops back. He's looking. Long ball, right side. And it's the senior. Heck of a catch by the wideout to pick up a nice chunk of yardage. This kid is a very special football player. He can make the catch over the middle in traffic, or he can take it the distance using his speed. He can do it all. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. You'll get it again. And he's taken down at the 16-yard line. And with that carry, the running back just went over 100 yards on the day. Well, this kid's having a great game. He's been running left, right, and up the middle. Boy, I'll say, he's been giving the defense a hard time all game long. Again with the run. And they make the stop at the 15. A one-yard gain by the halfback. This play should work out very nicely. Third and six. Ball on the 15-yard line. 
Florida State. Comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Goes to the end zone. Number four has an interception. How about that defensive play? The well on two is the way the defense reacted. As soon as the ball was thrown, it allowed them to come up with the interception. What I didn't like was the decision by the quarterman to throw a pass like that. First and ten. We've got a first and ten. On the ten yard line. Two tight ends here. Here we go. Right in. On the ground, up the middle. Number 30 gains about a yard on the play. That'll make it second down. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 11. The Hurricanes come out in the ace formation. Drop back to pass. Looks, throws it out there, and he got it! Nice catch by the receiver. And that reception put him over the century mark for the you day. Go and you want to know something? What's that? This receiver is the real deal. He's a great playmaker. Number 30, lines up as a single back. Play action, he's looking. He lets it go. Catches it. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. And the quarterback did a tremendous job of the fake handoff, too. Miami comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They'll throw on first down. He catches another one. They're moving the ball very well on this drive, guys. Yep, the defense is preventing the deep ball, but the problem is they can't stop the short stuff. And the offense seems to be building a little bit more momentum on every play. Number three comes to the line with three wide. He'll get it again. Tackle made at the 12-yard line. Number 30 gets eight yards on the play, so that'll make it second down. Second and two yards to go. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Their last Red Zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. Goes to the end zone. And this one could be on the defense. Pass on the defense. On the defense. They got the pass interference right, but I think they missed the holding call back at the line of scrimmage. I didn't see it, Coach, but these refs are calling a pretty good game up to this point, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They hand it off again. Jed's one tackle. Touchdown, Miami! So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. They'll line up for the extra point here. The kick is up, and he adds the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Number 15 is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it off. Number 29 takes it from the six. Missed tackle. And he's tackled at the 26. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. First down, 10 yards to go. All on the 26-yard line. They line up in an eye. Play action under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked. That was just good pass rush by the defensive end. And the offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Drop back to pass. He's looking. Let's it go. Complete. Way to look it in. The lineup made a good looking grab there. You're right. And the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Third, Third and, and five, five situation. Ball on the 31 yard line.
The Seminoles come out in a shotgun. He drops back. Looking. He's looking for his man. And it's caught. There's a flag down on the field, and I'm betting that this one is pass interference. Pass interference on the defense. The penalty is declined. A team that can run the ball has the best chance of winning. First so I try to establish the run here. 46 yard line. Nice play fake. Pressure coming. And he can't get away from the pressure. So the sack makes this the second and long. Linebackers move over. He drops back. Surveys the field. He passes it. A lot of shoving while the pass was in the air. Let's get the call. Pass on the On the defense. That was a good call. The defender was all over him. Sometimes holding up a defender is better than letting him go for a big game. Or even worse, First a touchdown. Down. First ball down, 10 40, yards 40 to go. Yards. Ball on the 44. Florida State goes with the ace set Bye. here. There's a play fake. Looks. He throws. In and out of his hand. Number 45 was the intended receiver on the play. So that'll make it second down. In this situation, you got to trust the quarterback's decision making. Ball on the 44 yard line. Number 28 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Set. That number play action. Looks. He's going to go for the home run. This one is batted away. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. This defense faces another third down. Number 28, alone in the back. He drops back. Surveys the field. Let's it go. And it's knocked down. Now that's the way to get in there and break up the pass. And more importantly, Coach, brings up a fourth down situation. So it's fourth down. Florida State lining up the punt. Number eight, back deep to return. He gets it off. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Miami comes to the line with three wide. On the ground with the tailback. Whoa, he just took a lick it. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Surveys the field. Throws it to the outside. Number 15 intercepts it. Sheds that one. And he breaks another. Down the sideline. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. RP says, go with this play. First, First down, ten. 10 yards to Ball go. On the 28 -yard line. Number 11 with three wide receivers. Got it, Mark. 319. 319. Mark. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. Incomplete, out of bounds. He caught it, but failed to get that one necessary foot in. That's an outstanding catch, and he just missed making a big-time play. They line up at the 28. Second down. The Seminoles come out showing three wide. Little handoff. 
and he's taken down at the 27. He picks up a yard on the play. What I do is throw it right here. You got to give your players a chance to make the play and make the first down. Florida State lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Looks. Let's it fly. Back it away. That's a fantastic defensive effort. Yeah, the deflection prevented them from getting any yards. And now it's fourth down. It's fourth down. And the field goal team is out to try this 44 yarder. Number 12 into a tough field goal. It's up. And the field goal is good. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. They line up to kick this one away. Number 22, back deep to return. He kicks it. Number eight takes it from the six. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. So the offense will come out and try to turn things around after an interception on their last drive. The quarterback has to get that interception out of his head. You can't be scared to keep firing away in this game or the defense will tear you apart. Number three has four receivers lined up here on the ground with the tailback. They bring him down in the backfield. They go with the draw, but it fools no one. You know it's a bad sign when you run a draw play and no one on a defense yells, pass! Well, that's why sometimes you'll hear smarter quarterbacks yelling run during the play action and yell pass during the draw plays. Number 30, the low one back, back to pass. He looks, lets it fly. And he pulls it down. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. And this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Gets the ball. No, they fake it. He throws it. Caught. And this one could be on the defense. I'd spread out the offense and let my quarterback zip the ball in there. You only need a few more yards for a score. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. He's gobbled up in the backfield. A big loss after they stopped the run. <laughs> Not much you can say there. The defense just shot in and blew up that run. I like this one. Go see what you can do with it. Number three with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Surveys the field. He lets it go. Incomplete. Number nine was the intended target on the play. That'll bring up third down. Third We've got third and long here. Ball on the 21-yard line. They line up in an eye. Ah! Drop back to pass. Looking. Throws. And it's caught. He's tackled at the eight. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call. Almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. Fourth it's fourth down. Two. They'll line up the kicking team. This one is about 25 yards away. Number 13 is lined up for the field goal. The kick is up. And the field goal is good. And here's the Pontiac drive summary.
Miami ready to kick this one off. Number 29, back deep to return. And it's off. Number 29 takes it at the eight. Shefton brought down at the 30-yard line. Guys, what are you thinking at this point in the game? Well, time isn't on their side anymore. They need to get this ball down the field and get in the end zone. You're right, Coach. It's now a two-possession game. There's not too much time to spare. Florida State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Play action. He's in trouble. That's a great tackle. Back to 19. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Number 11 calls an audible. Drops back to pass. He looks. He throws. He's right there for the interception. To the 20. Tries to juke. Tackle made at the three. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. Tough defenses. Florida defense State calls, calls a timeout. timeout, and that was their first timeout. First Miami goal. looks to take a commanding three-score lead here. They're crowding the line. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he hits him hard at the one. Maybe a few, but that's it. He took a shot on that play. He better check and make sure all of his limbs are still attached. It's second and goal. One yard to the goal line. They put everyone up on the line. He gets another carry. He's hit and got away. Wait a second. They put the points on the board, but they might have to take them down. So if there was ever a penalty you didn't want to take, that would be the one. You don't see that very often. Yeah, but you hate to see it when it does happen. Unless you're the team on defense. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the 11. Number 30 is the single setback. He'll get the call again. He's taken down at the six yard line. Five yards. Everyone should know this one. Now go make it happen. Third We've got goal. third and goal. Ball on the six yard line. Number three lines up with five wide out. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. Guys, he somehow got open again, and that's touchdown number three. And on that one, he did a fantastic job of looking the ball all the way in to make the catch. That's very good concentration. They line up for the extra point. It's up. And he hits the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Miami lines up for the kickoff. Number 29, back to return. He kicks it. Number 29, passes it at the five. Missed tackle. And down he goes at the 28. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing a pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? As you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know better than that. Back to pass. Looks. Throws it deep. And it's caught. And now the ball is loose. They pile up on the loose ball. The receiver should have held on to that. Now coaches hate to see turnovers anytime, especially fumbles by a receiver. The defense Holding the ball with one hand. Can you believe it? Uh, you can bet the next time he touches the ball, he better use both hands. First they line down. up at the 36. On the First down.
Miami comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Drop back to pass. He throws it, and that one's fallen incomplete. Number 82 was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Just go out and let your receivers make a play. Ball on the 36-yard line. Number three comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Looking. He throws to the middle. The senior makes the catch. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. Yep. I think I would start to double cover this kid. He's just too dangerous. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Ace backfield. On the ground with the tailback. Oh, what a hit. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. They had a fool there because there were holes everywhere in the defense on that play. We've got a first and ten. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters the most. Miami goes with the ace set here. A little handoff. He's hit and got away, and he just got drilled. Maybe a few, but that's it. Well, you know this guy has to protect himself. You're not kidding. He got walloped on that play. From the 14-yard line, it's second down. Number 30 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Looks. Goes to the end zone. Touchdown. Hey. And that's a second time today these guys have been able to hook up for the score. Boy, he really looks comfortable in that end zone, doesn't he? So the kicker lines up for the PAT. He gets it up, and he tacks on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And this one's away. Number 29 fields it at the 7. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that if it happens again. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Up the middle. It's on the ground. And they fall on the loose ball. And down he goes at the 21. A fumble here is the last thing they needed. Well, you know what they say. When it rains, it pours. And at this point, they're in a torrential downpour. Absolutely nothing is for them today. Florida State will take their last time out. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Three wide outs here. Drops back to pass. Looks. He unloads it. And this one's broken up. That was a dangerous throw. No, oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach if that had been an interception. They come out with three wide receivers. On the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down at the 19. Number 30 picks up two yards with a carry. From the 19-yard line, third down. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Setting up the play action. Look out! Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Now, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. If he didn't hold on to the ball so long, Kirk, he wouldn't have got drilled like that. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. The kick is up. And he's got it. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary.
Miami Number 15 looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it away. Number 29 fields it at the 7. And he's taken down at the 23 yard line. Well, moving the football hasn't been a problem all game. Yeah, but this one's in the books, coach. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. First, and First down, 10 to go. On the 23 yard line. Ace backfield. He's tackled at the 27 yard line. That's four yards on the play. That'll make it second down. Second down and six. Ball on the 27 yard line. One man backfield. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Let's it fly. There's a flag down on the field, and I'm betting that this one is pass interference. Pass interference on the defense. The defender got a little First too down. aggressive on that play. Yeah, you're allowed to check a receiver downfield, but once the ball's in the air, you have to let go. And he hung on too long that time. First, First and, and ten. ten. Ball on the 42. On the 42 yard line. Number 28 is the single setback. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes at the 46. Four yards on that play. So that'll make it second down. Second down and five. Ball on their own 46. The Hurricanes bring in the nickel package. He drops back, looks, tosses short, and it's caught. Brought down at the 49. Nice little catch there, huh, Coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. I like short passes. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. They line up at the 49. Third down. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. Nice play fake. Under pressure. He got hit hard. And there's sack number six on the day. Kirk, who's at fault here? The O-line for not blocking well or the quarterback for not getting rid of the football? I'd say you could blame both the offensive line and the quarterback, but don't helping matters. They're not getting open, so you're seeing a lot of coverage sacks as well. Fourth, Fourth down. Five. Florida State ready to push this one away. He gets it away. Number eight, back to return. They'll down the punt at the nine yard line. Great punt there to pin them deep inside their own territory. Man, they got a nice bounce there as well. Yeah, a lot of times those punts will hop right First into the end ten. zone, but this time Ball it didn't go anywhere. They line up at the nine. First down. Number three with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Looking over the middle. He catches it. They'll bring him down at the 32. How about that play? Well, it was a good pass, a good catch, and they are keeping the defense off balance by throwing on first down. Absolutely right. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Can't wrap him up. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. That's now 100 yards rushing on the day. Brad, that's just hard-nosed running, and it gives him another solid day at the ballpark. It's second, second and inches. Ball on the 42-yard line. Number 30, alone in the backfield. <laughs> Again with the run. Tackle made at midfield. And a halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they first go to him ten. again. It's first and ten. Four wide. Ready. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's taken down at the 43. Number 30 gets seven yards on the play. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 43-yard line. Number 30 is the single setback. 
Again, he'll get the call. Gets past the tackler. And they make the stop at the 38 yard line. They pick up another first, guys. They've got a decent drive going here. Yep, the offense is doing exactly what they have first to do. Move the sticks. The first and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. the tailback. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. Not much there. Maybe a yard. So that'll make it second down. And the 37-yard line. Second down. And he takes a big hit at the 41-yard line. They line up at the 41. Third down. Third and 12. The defense is changing their play. Drop back to pass. Looks. Throws it. Almost picked off. How about that play, Coach? Kirk, that's exactly how you teach a player to defend the pass. Do anything possible to disrupt the play. You don't necessarily have to make the interception to make a big play on defense. That's very true. Now they'll have a fourth down situation. Number four is the deep man awaiting the return. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. You know who's trembling right now? Well, it's not the defense. They played well all game. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. They'll give it off here. Bounces off a would-be tackler, and he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Nice eight, job by the eight, running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Second and two. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here's the coach players of the game. Nice play fake. Throws it deep downfield. It's knocked away incomplete. Kirk, he threw that one right into coverage. Yeah, Brad, that is a cardinal rule. You never throw into tight coverage like that. There are a lot of guys out there that have so much confidence in their arms, they think they can squeeze the ball into a tight little space the size of a donut hole. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. He looks. He airs it out. Complete. He goes down at the 41. The wideout comes up with a spectacular play. Yeah, and if I'm the coach, I put a big circle around that play so I can remember to call that one again. Good call. Play action. He might not be able to get the pass off. They got to him as he was throwing that time. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Either that or sent. I don't know how he got rid of the ball. It's second and ten. Ball on the 41. Nice play fake. He throws it. Number four. Intercepts it. Handsome Dela. Touchdown, James. That's not where the quarterback wanted to throw that football, Kirk. Yeah, but how about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. He gets it up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Number 29. And it's off. Number 29 takes it for 12. Brought down at the 32. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 32. 32 yard line. On the ground with the tailback. And he's leveled at the 38, about six yards on the play. That was a great tackle. The defender seemingly came out of nowhere and put a big hit on the ball carrier. It's second and four to go. Ball on the 38. Set. Red 18. Red 18. He'll keep it on the ground again. Bounces off the would-be tackler. And down he goes at the 41. That'll be a gain of three yards. That'll bring up third down. Third it's third and one. And one. Ball, Ball on, on the 41. The 41 yard line. Let's go. Green 90. 
Well, this blowout will only add more fuel to the fire in this rivalry, and they're going to have to wait till next year's meeting to settle their differences. Any final thoughts, gentlemen? Miami is one happy group of guys right now. Nothing is more gratifying than embarrassing the team you love to beat in front of millions of people. And they did it. <laughs> Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, the Miami Hurricanes, 79, and the Seminoles of Florida State, 43. For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time. Thank you for attending today's ballgame. Please drive home safely.